Battlefield 4. Some changes of Battlefield 4 when compared to the beta. There are many of them and uh, I've been playing Battlefield 4 for the last two days actually. I wasn't able to play before that because I wasn't on holiday. And now I'm back here in Holland where it rains a lot and it is cold. And I was in southern France which was not as cold and not as rainy. It was sunny. It was good. But yeah, many differences between the Battlefield 4 beta and now the full game that it has been released. Full game isn't perfect though. Um, it is better than the Battlefield 4 beta, obviously. Um, especially when you have access to all the weapons and the maps and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's talk about the things that have been changed from the Battlefield 4 beta to Battlefield 4. So immediately, what uh, what first thing that came to mind when I was playing Battlefield uh, 4 beta, and it actually seems kind of weird. The RPG had a lock-on function, so if someone was locking on to an aircraft, you can actually lock on with your RPG and take it down in one hit. That has been removed by Dice. Um, they said, well, there's really no point in having an RPG that can lock on to vehicles because in real life it can't either. It's just a projectile. There's no targeting system inside that whole rocket launcher thing. So uh, yeah, it doesn't do that. Um, Battlefield 4 Beta had really bad uh, drivers issues. Um, you had to basically download those beta drivers by NVIDIA in order to play the game properly. Even then, my computer really dropped frames like mad and they just couldn't keep up. It hadn't it hasn't been up to like 60 frames at all, so I was just have, having trouble playing that game. But now that Battlefield 4 is here, I'm having perfect 60, 60 FPS, so I'm actually recording in 60 frames per second. And so, yeah, it, it, it works perfectly fine, actually. Uh, I'm really glad that it does now. And um, I was actually worried about having to purchase another graphics card, another GTX 660 Super Clocked, and then SLI, those both. But uh, it turns out I didn't have to, so I'm actually quite happy about that. Still thinking about buying an SSD and installing Battlefield 4 uh, on that SSD, maybe with Windows 8.1, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Um, that is actually one of the big things that uh, is a big, um, that can make a big FPS boost for you if, you, uh, if you're playing Battlefield 4 on Windows 7. Switching to Windows 8.1 basically gives you like 15 FPS over what you're already running. So that's actually really good. I'm playing on uh, basically the lowest settings. I do have, um, I didn't go in the BIOS and, and, uh, and then special file and change all the values to zero and the shadowing and stuff like that. I just have, have everything set to low and uh, just a little bit anti-aliasing because I do like my edges to really be a little bit smoother and it's also a bit better to look at. Visually, um, Battlefield 4 beta and Battlefield 4 are not that different. Um, the maps are great. I'm having a lot of fun, especially like Paracel Storm, uh, Dawnbreaker. Those are the kinds of maps that really um, I, I, I really enjoy. Um, domination on Dawnbreaker can be kind of a, ha a hassle because there's at one point when one team has two flags and the other one has one flag, you basically get spawned in the exact same position and it ends up in a spawn trap. So that's not, that's not so good. I've been trying all those different uh, camouflages on your guns or your vehicles. Um, whenever you uh, launch Battlefield 4 and you have it, I, I had it pre-ordered, so actually, uh, and I'm a premium member, so I am getting specific battle packs because of that. And those battle packs unlock uh, camouflages, uh, specific attachments for your weapons and stuff like that. So uh, make sure you uh, press uh, whenever you're in a game or uh, in battle log, go to your battle log, uh, go to your battle packs and uh, figure out what you can get for free. Because uh, I, th and I think you can actually pay for that stuff, but there's really no point. You're going to unlock them later by leveling up and stuff like that. And then leveling up is great. It's not as fast as Battlefield 3, which I really enjoy because uh, Battlefield 3, like everyone was rank 100 colonel. Um, rank, uh, just instantly, just, well not rank 100 colonel, that's too much. But everyone was, you know, unlocked all the weapons and everything. And I think you have to work a little bit harder for it now. Now you're playing Battlefield 4. So yeah, uh, I've actually been uh, playing the single player as well. I really enjoyed it. Um, the, the visuals were great. The storyline is meh. It's not that good. Uh, at the end of the uh, at the end of the single player campaign, you basically have to make a decision between three different choices, and um, that determines about which weapon you will unlock later on. Um, you will unlock certain weapons when you're playing the campaign for multiplayer as well. It's not that special, but you know it's there, so that's good. Um, but yeah, you, I, I really suggest you start playing. It's not that bu that big of a campaign. I think you completed. I, play, I played it on normal, and I completed it in about five hours. So it's not that uh, it's not that impressive. But uh, you know, it's a lot of fun, and I play it as well because you mind you uh, you bought you bought the game. It's uh, it's supposed to be in there. 
But yeah, I've been uh, I'm thinking about doing weapon reviews and stuff like that. But I need to play those uh, play with those weapons a little bit longer because right now I haven't played enough to do an actual review. But it will be coming up later uh, later on my channel. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoy Battlefield 4 stuff. There will be many more of it on my channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.